What's up, everybody? Hope everybody's enjoying the show. Sorry we got to interrupt. Just waiting for Lisa when she's ready. I don't know what's going to be said. I don't know what's going down. What's up, everybody? How's everybody enjoying the show? Team Varia, Team Mary. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Better than watching the show. Yeah, Tom, it, it probably will be better than watching the show, honestly. Yeah, it's sad. The M, M Lulu baby. It's sad what's going on right now in the world. It's really sad. <clears throat> All right, let me request Lisa, guys. Hold on. Lisa, I sent you a request. Hey, good evening. Uh, How are you? I'm good, I'm good. I understand we're to the part where everyone sees me in my wedding gown. Right. Let's talk about how you're doing first. Let's let people get in. How are you? I'm hanging tough. The numbers jump radically. Hanging tough. All right, you start whenever you're ready. Okay. What's going on? Well, I'm here to make an announcement. Um, it definitely looks like I got scanned by Soldier Boy. You saw his interview on the Dominic Naughty show. Uh -huh. um, and Usman has had annulment papers in his hands. Tonight's the last show. I guess he wanted to remain silent, but he definitely used me. <clears throat> he definitely scammed me. Uh -huh. So, what's so he messaged you today and told yeah. you that he has divorce papers ready. Yes, and he said if I go on my platform and apologize that he'd stay with me, that he was doing me a favor. Well, that didn't sit well with me. And I saw those messages, guys. She's telling the truth. Um, fact being, he thinks that I need him. I don't need anyone but my daughter and God in my life. Fact being, he said he does not love me. Facts being, he exposed that I make $1,000 in 40 hours. That's not bad money. Um, so how else did he get all that money he scammed out of me? Hmm. You know, financially, I'm doing fine. But Soldier Boy used me to make himself popular in Nigeria. So all my interviews, Rocco, now have to go through TLC because I'm not going to violate my NDA for me. And this isn't an interview, guys. This isn't an interview. Exactly. So this is, you know, this is just... Me and my promoter just bullshitting the shit here with you guys. Um, all interviews, Rocco, they need to go through that email address. And mm -hmm. I will willingly, willingly do these interviews. I have nothing to hide. My story is not jumped from the beginning to the end. I wanted to ask, did everybody see the Dom Natty interview yesterday? Uh, I think, believe it was yesterday. People are saying, how, how, how did he use you? How did he... He couldn't even admit to loving Lisa in the interview with Dom Natty. He kept getting very aggressive when, and I take that as when you're speaking calm and all of a sudden you get aggressive, you might be bullshitting. You probably are bullshitting. Yeah. And that's basically what I gathered from the Dominic Naughty show. Mm -hmm. That he wouldn't answer the hard questions. Just like um, the trash that he spewed that I tried to kill myself when I was in the hospital. Now, I'm going to let you all in on this. When I returned from Nigeria last year after we were married, okay, I returned because I had hurt my foot, injured my foot. Was I in the hospital in October? Yes, because gangrene set it in my foot. Not the shit that came out of his mouth saying I tried to kill myself. Mm -hmm. Not happening. So I'm going to release my medical records that I was in the hospital for three days. And if I get in Nigeria. That was in Nigeria? Uh, no, here in the United States. All oh, right. Um, and Usman spoke to my physician on video chat. So 
the lies that this man's told is to continually to build his base of people. You know, it is your atypical scammer. In fact, I just spoke with SSA and told him I have a lot to share with them. Um, I did not even think Soldier Boy would have scammed me, but he did. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, and let me pin this. People are asking where that interview is. Rita, I pinned the box on the Dom Natty show. Um, and I've talked to Dom Natty myself and told him I would definitely re interview with him, but it has to go through the proper channels. Mm -hmm. But never in a million years did I see this coming. I've been with this guy for three years. But now that the show's over and you've got divorce papers, mm, right there tells me you're definitely a scammer. Waited for the show. Yeah, he did it for the show. Completely did it for the show. And the conversations of him and Amber, I have all of those conversations. Will I release it to Dom? Most definitely. I'll release it all to Dom. I'm not embarrassed. You know, I did the right thing. I was the Lord's <laughs> faithful wife. But no more. No more. This man thinks he did me a favor. There was no favor. No favor whatsoever. But to use me, his friends, his family, and especially his mother, that I have an issue with. <clears throat> mm -hmm. that, that woman did not deserve this crap from her son. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, Dom, I will um, basically rock though. I'm gonna be taking a few days off, mm -hmm. okay? I'm going away and to an undisclosed location just to get your mind right. get my mind right and when i come back it's going to come back full force because i wasn't around chasing men around the world trying to get them in my dms like what's was chasing women i was making connections and when i say i make connections i made big connections mm -hmm. very big connections so with that being said there are going to be a lot more bigger things coming up on platforms with baby girl lisa the one number one issue when I turn this platform of mine differently <clears throat> is cyberbullying. It will stop. It will stop. It was a TV show, for God's sake, people. A TV show. I got scammed by the man that I was in love with. Yeah, I'm hurt and I'm heartbroken over it. But I'm telling you now, there will be no more of this bullying me in my DMs. Trust mm -hmm. me, I'm not the one. Mm -hmm. It is illegal in 50 states. So if you reside here in the United States and you want to cyber bully me, I promise to make a report each and every time you decide to get in my DMs and try to cyber bully me. Simple. Yeah, yeah. I want to say at the beginning of the show, but then once I, I was like, oh, maybe this is legit. But in the beginning of the show, I was sitting there, I was like, no, no, no. And then he, I'm telling you, he played a good game. He did. Oh, yeah. But there's always a checkmate somewhere along the game. Exactly. Always a checkmate. Mm -hmm. Karma's a bitch. So, yeah. Karma always bites you in the ass. You know, we found, we seen that with our own eyes. We seen mm -hmm. that with our own eyes. Karma's a bitch. And you want to do dirt. Trust me, when it comes back to you, you're not going to like how it comes back to you. And yeah. I don't wish it on anybody. Because it comes I, back more. Exactly. It was a TV show. Lisbon wanted it jacked up for ratings. So that's what we did. Mm -hmm. You know, he, um, most people don't realize that, you know, what I spoke is true. Um, for him to say, you know, go to your platform and apologize and I'll stay with you. Well, that right there with having divorce papers in your hand, you think for a second that I'm going to retract that you scam me. Not happening. Yeah. Yeah. Not happening. Yeah. Not happening at all. So, mm -hmm. um, you're right, Holly. When karma comes, it's, it's definitely a, a, a bitch. 
Everybody, I pin, the thing that's pinned down, there's a Dom Natty show, and that's where Usman goes live with, I mean, he did an interview with Dom Natty, and Dom asked him some tough questions, and Dom doesn't back away from the questions in that interview. And I think you guys should watch it and give a different type of outlook on this situation. Truly. Um, <clears throat> I'm right there because when um, Usman approached me today about retracting what I said, he was very agitated because he now sees the world is going to see him for what he truly is and what he has truly done. Mm -hmm. I would have moved heaven and hell to keep him safe and protected. But after this, it is what it is. It'll be a hard lesson Usman learns in life. Mm -hmm. Truly will be. Mm -hmm. and, and it's sad to say, they'll, they'll be, it, 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 it's going to happen again. To other people and just sad that's just exactly it and you know he's done it in front of his peers i didn't want that stigma to be attached to nigerian that you know scammers they're well known for that over in nigeria but usman has definitely played that role to a team and not only is he doing it you know to me he's actually now seen in a different limelight of his friends you know, they're all associated. So really, it's not looking good. <clears throat> it's not good yeah. in any way yeah. form. And being that his eldest brother um, is like what we call a, a priest, preacher, his brother is the Islamic leader for the mosque. This is not going to reflect well on his brother. Yeah. yeah. It's just, it's just a very bad situation all around. Um, and to the ones who said that Soldier Boy loves me, no. No, he openly admitted on Naughty, Dominic Naughty Show that he doesn't love me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did. You know, he, he doesn't think $1,000 is a lot of money. Well, that there is words of a scammer. Because that's the bottom line. They're worried about how much you make a week. Well, when when he said that, and I thought the same thing Dom Natty thought, because Dom Natty came back at him, was like, you know, Dom was like, you know, in some places in the United States, $4,000 a month is good money. It, it says the statistics, statistics that you have to make four if you make less than four thousand you're 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 not really going to survive if you make four thousand or more you're on a good pace you know exactly that's why i say you know we have a lot of his ones that love him hey go ahead and love him maybe you all can feel sorry and you know when you lose money to him it's on you guys not me all i know is you know I never thought it would happen. I never expected it, but it did. And it is what it is, Rocco. Truly it mm -hmm. is. So enjoy tonight's show, everyone. It's coming to the grand finale. And now you know the truth. Soldier Boy used me to get his platform built up because otherwise he would always be a nobody in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. But I'm taking my platform even further, even further. I will go to all the huge Nigerian bloggers and it will be told. Yeah. I made the connections. Those connections, I will take it another level up. A lot of people are saying, we believe that you really loved him and she, she did. I did. I truly loved him. Mm -hmm. I would have moved heaven and hell to protect him and keep him safe. Mm -hmm. and, and he did, he, he did say that in the Dom Natty show. He was like, she really loved me. She would have moved heaven and hell. Yeah. Some, something in those types of words, he did say. Yeah. And, you know, what can I say? Mm -hmm. I love him. I still I love him. But I have mm -hmm. a lot of resentment right now. Yeah. I don't want to use the word H because that's just not where I'm at at this level. I trusted him. I believed him. I fell in love with him only to get my heart broke. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. heart lesson learned, really it is. Well, you'll come out of it stronger than you were before you went into it. The only thing I can say is you get that pit feeling in your stomach, ladies, 
or a gentleman. I never applied for his visa. Never. And I'm glad I didn't. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, I would have been stuck 10 years responsibility for him financially. Yep. So, you know, everything's a blessing in disguise. It really is. And right now, we have enough going on in the world. And, you know, this may seem petty to other people, but, you know, this is what my private life is. Mm -hmm. And your private life is on national you know, TV. Public, public display. So I'm going to admit what went on. I'm going to tell the world what went on. But after the show, my life becomes private again. It will become private, and that's where it will remain. I thank all the fans of the show that have followed me through the season. If you want to remain on Instagram, that's fantastic. Because you just really never know when Baby Girl Lisa's going to show up. Mm -hmm. truly, truly, you don't. Yeah. You know, I can do another spinoff with TLC. I don't know yet. I have no idea what I want to do. That's why I'm taking a few days off just to take time for me. Yeah, build your thoughts. Yeah, exactly. So with that being said, um, he don't need your visa. Well, he ain't getting into the United States anyhow, so I don't know what you're all sitting here wrapping your gums about. There's a ban on any Nigerian coming into the USA. Any Nigerian. Um, that went into effect right when I had my surgery. Um, February, which mm -hmm. I'm still grateful I didn't apply for the visa. You know, yeah. That could have went through and Ford Trump banned any Nigerians. But I never did apply for it. So, you know, it was a blessing in disguise. Truly it is. You know, mm -hmm. hard enough to learn on Baby Girl Lisa, but you guys just never know when I'm going to come back up. Oh, I hope to I see you on uh, TLC, or not even TLC, any, any network. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I love all people that are on my page I love them tremendously they've become family they're yeah. like fans of the show they've become family I've interacted with so many in private DMs private DMs and there is so many beautiful people from around the world mm -hmm. it is. and I can't thank you guys enough from the bottom of my DMs truly truly I appreciate it if you have any questions, please feel free to contact Rocco at any time because he is my promoter and possibly going to be my manager. I, I oh, I would love that. I saw um, I got. I want to say I have a lot of like probably a lot of uh, message requests and it's hard to get to all of them, but I will get to them, guys. Yeah, I know. And try my page once. Yeah, yeah. I can only imagine. Yeah. Yeah. And I've done my best to keep up with it through the season, which is, you know, mm -hmm. it's been a fantastic run. It has what have you gotten out of this? What have I gotten out of this? I got a whole lot of family out of this. Mm -hmm. um, as much as my IG has grown, I will say 90% of them are pure family, pure mm -hmm. love. Yeah. And where they're from yeah 10%, 10 percent are haters but 90 percent, it's pure love and i can't thank them enough for they have stuck by me through this thick and thin and to the cast of this season i can't thank you guys enough for your support yeah jeffrey was just commenting he says i love you both so jeffrey jeffrey supports you big time i know jeffrey um and tom you guys have been fantastic uh <clears throat> Let definitely, um, Lapita's going to sing to me to make me feel better. So who, cool, Lapita? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and it's been fantastic. It really has been a wonderful, you know, journey. <laughs> My sister's comment. I don't want to say who, who, what her name is on here, but she's making me make me laugh. I'm not. <laughs> God forbid if I say shout her name out on here. No. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> And I like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But any questions, please send it to Rocco and he will try to answer them. And if he can't answer it, jump in my DMs and say, hey, Rocco's not answering me. Mm -hmm. People keep asking, who am I? I'm Lisa's new husband. No, I, no I'm, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking, you. guys. I got you, Jeffrey, Tom, Ash. You know, that's four. Yeah. You know, what the hell? 
Yeah, I mean, he he was allowed five, so now you're allowed. Hey, well, exactly. 50. So you know, <laughs> you know, Big Release is going to be back on the market real soon here because you know, never had an issue getting man. So yeah, I'm not bragging about it. It's just you have I'll fifty, and I'm waiting for you in the states. <laughs> be my DMs. <laughs> oh no, I believe it. I believe it. True, I believe it. Um, it, it's, it's it's funny because they do make me laugh, especially at this time here right now. I was scanning through my uh, DMs, and it really was a lot of fun. I mean, they mm. made me smile. I want to give a special shout out to John Yates. John, you have made this season <clears throat> incredible for me. Mm -hmm. I know you're like the most hated blogger out there, but John, I have nothing but love for you. I'm telling you. Um, he's, he is very unique. John is very unique. And I've enjoyed him all season. I wish him nothing but the best. Sending him. I wish he would just stop <laughs> blasting, blasting my girl, Ashley. That's no. it. That just, John, just stop blasting her. But Leave John, her alone. And I, John and I have a fantastic working relationship. When I get to New York, John, I want to meet up with you guys. You can put, and have drinks. You go out for mm -hmm. dinner, we'll paint the town red in New York. My other bloggers that are here tonight watching this, I know another Muslim sister just hit me up to tell me she cannot believe the shit he's doing. Um, to all my other bloggers that are here tonight, I can't thank you guys enough. He's been very respectful, very respectful for the whole season. Um, because you guys have all been around for a very, very long time doing this. Um, when I first came to idea, I was like, oh shit, who are all these freaking people? Not knowing movie makers, bloggers. I was so lost. Move your, move your hand away from the speaker. Oh, I was so lost and didn't know who was who. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's where I met John. John mm -hmm. gave me a heads up of who's doing what and what I need to watch for. John, for, as long as I'm around, I'll be forever in your debt. You gave me a crash course on what to watch for. So, that. Oh. Oh, how'd I do that one? Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, <laughs> I'm flipping around my thing here. It's, oh, so many people are posting on my timeline. Um, for the next cast members that are coming in, just remember, people, it's a TV show. You guys have been really tough on this season because we're in quarantine. I truly get that. Really, I do. And crazy, and that's all you guys can do. But please remember, it is television. That's all. It's TV. If you don't like a person, don't watch. If you don't like them on a platform, don't go to them. You can easily, easily ignore it and just walk away from it. But when you provoke, you know, something will be said. There's no doubt. Mm -hmm. and, and and I think it's 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 everybody. Not even if you're on TV, but if you're on TV, you get more hate. But even the regular person has haters. But it, when you're on TV, it's to the whole other level. And I'm sure it breaks a lot of people. I'm sure that this the it, it breaks a lot of people. If you're not used to it, I'm sure it could break break you guys. Oh yeah, you have to be really tough skin to do this show in the first place. Really, you do. Um, because it's very grueling, everything that goes on with the show. So now, you know, we're down to the the boom, the finale. Mm -hmm. The grand yep. finale tonight, which is probably 15 minutes and done. So with that being said, Rocco, let's release these people so they can go watch the, the final 15 minutes of the show. Mm -hmm. Thank everybody for tuning in. Stay safe and stay blessed. Sending you guys much love from Baby or Lisa and her promoter slash manager, Rocco. Yep. Bye, everybody. Yeah. Everybody keeps asking me who I am. I'm, <clears throat> I work with a couple of the cast. I'm, uh, get them paid gigs. Uh, I'm trying to do meet and greets. I People keep saying 
am I single? I'm not single. I have a beautiful girl, two kids. Um, but with that being said, let's get back to the show and have a good night, everyone.